Morning Antioch Church Embrace. Thank you for doing your devotions with me and happy Christmas Eve. Uh, we are in Luke chapter 1 verses 39 through 58, 56. Excuse me. Let's pray together. Lord, as we come to just seek you, O oh Lord God, we're asking for your daily bread to come and fill us and nourish us, Lord. You tell us, O oh Lord God, man does not live on bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of your mouth. And so, Lord God, we pray that you would give us life through these words. We thank you so much, O oh Lord God. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So in Luke chapter 1, verses 39 through 56, it says, At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to town, to a town in the hill country of Judea. When she entered Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth, when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord shall come to me? As soon as the sound of your voice, your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble gate, humble state of his servant. From now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him. From generation to generation he has performed mighty deeds with his arms. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has broken down the rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and to his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months and then returned home. So in this passage, we get the visitation of Mary visiting Zechariah and Elizabeth. And we know that Zechariah and Elizabeth were John's John the Baptist's parents. And um, as we read this we know that it was a miracle that john the baptist was conceived and was born um, but we realize that as these two women begin to interact with each other there is something miraculous that happens between them and john the baptist recognizes the holiness of jesus in in the womb right and so what we are really finding is interaction between um, Mary and Elizabeth, but also Jesus and John, right? For uh, it says that John heard Jesus' voice and leapt within Elizabeth's womb. And um, it's such an interesting thing that um, this is describing. But ultimately, both of them begin to worship, right? So this interaction leads to worship. And as we read the way that they are worshiping or, be, or blessing, it says, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is this child you will bear. Um, but why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? And as she begins to, to worship and to bless the Lord, um, it's kind of describing what is happening within her. But Mary's worship and Mar Mary's prayer is so interesting her song is so interesting because as she begins to speak everything that she says describes god right she is worshiping the lord not for what god has done to her but simply because of who god is and it's such a beautiful thought for us to understand that it's not about what we have received from god or what god has done for us but it's just a matter of who God is. The reason that God is worthy of worship is simply because of who he is. 
a lot of times our worship it's rests on whether or not we got what we want it rests on so many other extraneous factors but ultimately it comes down to this jesus is god and he is worthy of our worship whether he deals with us with grace and mercy or judgment and righteousness um, you know we still have no choice but to worship God because He is worthy of it. And so today, as we draw closer to Christmas, and tomorrow uh, we will be celebrating our Christmas worship together at 10 in the morning, um, we want to remember how worthy God is of our worship, how worthy Jesus is of our worship, and really, let's seek Him. Let's have the right mindset before Him. Let's pray together. Father, as we just come, we've heard this word, O oh Lord God, we pray that you would teach us to be selfless. Teach us, O oh Lord God, to remember that the reason for our worship, the reason for every interaction is you. For you, O oh Lord God, are worthy of it. So please do protect us. Please watch over us. Please bring your healing on us, O oh Lord God. But most of all, Teach us to worship you. We thank you, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks, everyone. Have a blessed day today, and I will see you tomorrow. God bless.